all right what's going on youtube and welcome back to another episode of snow runner so my plan for today is basically i'm going to take the trans star and go along this road here and then every time we hit one of these um side roads that do contain a watchtower on the end of it I will branch out to get it with the little Scout 800 in the back here. So let's get right into it. Let's just bring it up to speed in here and get going with exploration. I don't know what happened to the camera there, but that really threw me off. All right. <laughs> Got my orientation back and let's go. Uh, I prefer not to go through the mud over there. Now, our fuel tank has already taken a big hit, so um, it is a bit more empty than I would like it to be at this stage, but it also is not. Because that's excuse you. Because that will also help us with. Uh, it's not as heavy anymore, so then we will have more traction. We will have more power to weight ratio, a better power to weight ratio. But there's still plenty of fuel in there, so no need to worry about running out. And here is our first branch to conquer. So just park the grand start up here. Activate the ramp. Stop the engine and change the truck. Oh wait, forgot. Unpack first. Yes, change truck. And take the scout up to the watchtower that's somewhere up here. So we are going all the way here and then into the side road. Alright, I will drive on because we're going to need it probably and let's get going. This is probably one of the easiest tasks the Scout 800 has done in this map so far. And I bet the Scout 800 is going to enjoy it. <laughs> Having an easy task for once. So, since we are just going to explore in this episode, I'd like to ask you guys, like, um, what what's the n suggestion for uh, the next? There we are. Um, one second. What's the best suggestion for the next set of maps for the next location we are going to explore? Like we're nearing. Uh, the end of the possibilities with Michigan. Um, what's next? What do you want to see next? Where do you want us to go next? I mean, there are a lot of options. Like, all the seasons, I have them ready. With all the vehicles that are available to those so yeah where, where do you want to see us go next what will be the next map what will be the next objective what will be the next clue location sorry not a clue hmm don't know where my head's at but a clue is not really what i'm looking for it's not Blue's clues or some or anything, you know. But 
floating potato. Destiny. So let's stop the engine. We grab this one. Here there is an upgrade and fuel carrier trailer. Uh-huh. Actually, I'm going to get that upgrade still. I still have time, I still have the fuel for it, and the Scout 800 is still ready to go, so let's get going. Let's go and get it. Let's go and get that upgrade. It's up here. Back into this side road and then there should be a branch right about there behind that tree I think that will lead us up the mountain hillside right here it is come on let's go Get that upgrade! No, don't climb the rock, you're not a rock crawler. Ah, why are you so tip heavy? Or so tip happy? Don't do that. You know I would love to replace you, right? Or can you feel that disappointment from my side already? Because you're so tip-heavy. Engageable all-wheel drive... for... the White Western Star. Nice! Or engageable diff lock. I think it's engageable diff lock. Sorry. It already have engage it already has engageable all wheel drive. Um Yeah. Do note that the Scout eight hundred did not try to tip anymore after I told him I was so disappointed. Oh, and also, um, if you're still wondering about that extra equipment, uh, it's still waiting in the box for me to get some time to install it. But I'm just really busy with work and trying to create a backlog for YouTube, so... Because uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to go away for a week on a short kind of holiday. It's not really a short kind of holiday, but... Uh, it's actually to visit uh, my sister-in-law who's getting married uh, just to be with the wedding and yeah I would l I would love to have some videos in backlog and we're also working our butts to have some extra uh, spending room so that we can also enjoy ourselves while we're there because the wedding is going to be in Bangkok so yeah it's uh, going to be at least a 12 hour flight or the first uh, flight is going to be I think it was 20 hours with a step over in UAE on Abu Dhabi and then uh, the next flight back was going to be 21 hours with also a step over in Abu Dhabi. So, yeah. It's uh, yeah, a busy couple days and then I'm trying to still maintain schedule and I'm trying to create a backlog for YouTube so that 
Yeah, in the meantime, when I'm gone, you guys won't be without my videos. Uh, I would love to keep the consistency going. I'm working my best efforts on keeping the schedule up. But as you've noticed from my words in the last couple of videos, I'm... Uh, I'm a bit short in time lately, um, and that's mainly the reason why, because we're, yeah, both my wife and I are fighting to get all the hours in that we can get, so that we can have some extra spending room. Uh-huh, I'm back. Restart the engine. Activate ramp. Stop the engine, change truck. So that we can have some... Also enjoy ourselves when we're there, you know? And of course our daily... Uh, daily dose of bad luck will also come, come around. We're trying to account for that. Like things breaking and... Bill suddenly appearing out of thin air, you know how it works. Uh, life just gets you around, gets around you that way, you know. And we're trying our best <laughs> to make the most out of it, and also be able to enjoy ourselves, just relax when we are there. So, uh, actually, where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going here. Um. Yeah, just go straight. Pick up any task along the way. Any task along the way. What's this? Corporate expansion. Alright, just pick it up and keep going. Oops. Now my wife used to live in Bangkok, so that that will be. Um, she knows where to get everything as cheap as possible. That's uh, that's a given. Um, I've been there multiple times to visit her during our time when we were dating. We got married there. And no, she's not a Thai. Uh, she's a Filipina. And yeah, she used to work there and she used to live there. So she knows the area and her sister is still there. Going to get married to another uh, Philippine guy. And it's a great guy met him uh, basically when I went to visit my wife for the first time and yeah he's a really really good guy really talented as well you know I like him I like him he's a good he's a good guy for her I'm just afraid that she's going to walk all over him <laughs> eventually but that's uh it's going to be his problem because I'm dealing with uh, his wife's sister and or as far as I've noticed um, my wife is worse than his wife <laughs> in uh, a little bit in like the pushy behavior you know it's not She's not bad, I mean, she's she's an awesome wife. I really love her. and She's great, but sometimes, you know, you just want to... Just want to lock them behind the wall. But that's the same, the same thing like you get with kids. <laughs> sometimes you just want to lock them behind the wall and never let them out. And then other times you just squeeze them to death. Because you, you're doing something that cute, you know? 
that kind of kind of feeling. Uh, pack trucks, start engine, activate ramp, and let's continue. Uh, yeah. No way. Again, an upgrade. I should check it. I should check more often. Uh. Alright. Last time. Last time. Why did I stop the engine? Unpack. Activate. Stop the engine. Alright. I'll see you guys when I'm there. Because, yeah. This is my bad. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Before I go. Refuel from the fuel tank into the Scud 800. Also in the Transtar, everything's filled up. All right, let's go. See you guys at the upgrade, or when I'm near the upgrade. All right, this is a thin area with regards to trees, so I think this is the best area to get through. Um, in here, I think. Oh, there it is. I can see it already. And this is going to be an area of quicksand, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's just keep it digging. And stay close enough to the trees that you can easily winch yourself back. And there we are. Get the upgrade. It's a uh, engine. Available for the Ford CLT 9000. Alright. Basically useless currently. Come on, get traction, get traction, get traction. Yes. There we go. Out of the quicksand. Now I need to find a nice place to turn around. So that we can head back to that truck. And I will see you guys back at the truck. Alright, for the second time. For this one. Third time. Making the same mistake. Fourth time overall. Let's get going. <laughs> Onwards to the next one. Holy shit, what just happened there? I was just cruising, minding my own business, and then that happened. What? Alright, well. Nothing to do now. Nothing I can do now. It's damaged already, so. Um, are we nearing the next outage? We are. I think around... Uh, there. Right. And then with an outage, I mean that... Just going to call it a field trip. Yeah. Are we nearing the next field trip? Yes, we are. Uh, 
Oh, we're struggling a little bit because we're pulling uphill. Here's where the advantage is that we're not full on fuel. And we lost quite a bit of weight already. Just gonna park you right over yonder, right here. Then activate the ramp. Stop the engine, unpack trucks and trailers. And change truck. And there is the watchtower right here. It's only just off the road. So let's go and get it opened up right here. Watchtower should be right about me. Behind this rock here. All right. And this is quite difficult to get to, it looks like. No, don't tip. Winch yourself into it. <laughs> um, get in between the trees, get through here, get through here. Exploration in the trees. And here we are. Watchtower found. Watchtower explored. What did we get for it? Basically nothing. All right. The one time I check. The one time I check. There's no upgrade. Every other time there is an upgrade. The one time I check. There's no upgrade. Dang it. Just my luck. Let's get back to the truck. Hopefully I'll be able to get there without flipping. All right, uh, just gonna explore. Explorer going the same way, same route back as that I came. Go up here, go over, go under, go in between. I said go in between. Don't get stuck on a branch. Then go in here. One can be run down, go in between here, in between, in between, in between, in between, and we're on the road. That was a whole lot of in-betweens, and we are back on track. Alright, let's find myself a way to get back on the trailer. And not stuck in the mud. Thank you very much. I prefer not to. There we go. And... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't get... Don't overrun it. There. Stop the engine. Push the truck. Pack it. Start the engine. Activate the ramp. Turn on the lights. Release the handbrake and let's go. Continue to the next one. 
see what's on the other side. Or on this side, and then I think this side this side is already basically explored. Oh. It looks like a tunnel. Where does the tunnel go? Is that a German island? I mean, Drummond is, I think, a lot easier to get into than Island Lake. Don't mock me, stupid branch. Um, yeah, it's here. Um... Is it wise to explore with the scout, or is it wise to explore with the truck? Just gonna explore it with scout, that's what scout's for. Uh, park the truck up here, seems like a solid place. Yeah, perfect. Activate ramp, come back, start the engine. Change truck. Turn on the lights. Now this is how I like to explore my maps, you know? Just take your time, get through it. Don't rush yourself. Just get through it slowly and methodically find your way. Find your... your moving pieces and stuff like that all right let's see what's on the other side which is here it's drummond island um yeah and then we will be able to go from smithville going down here i think yeah taking this road it's not a Really easy road, but I mean, with Drummond being so much easier to get to rather than Island Lake, I think it's a good contender for a road. I think it's a good contender for going to Island Lake. Yeah, it's should be able to do it. All right, let's get back to the truck and start back exploring. Activate ramp. Let's go. Turn on the lights in the process. And is this a nice way to go? Doesn't look like a nice way, but... Huh. There you go. That's what you get for doing it. Just destroy all the trees that are over the road. And this looks like a whole lot of mess that I don't want to get into, but I'm getting myself into it now. And there I can see the watchtower, and I don't think I'm going to be able to go get it. Oh, don't fall over. I am just going to move along here. Come on, keep con keep going. You there. Keep moving. Just keep moving. That's it. All you need to do. Just don't stop. Here you can stop. Still gonna try. Even though uh, I just dug my own grave, I know that. 
literally. Because the tracks that I dug through here, and it's uh, fairly deep, and I think my scout is not really uh, someone that's someone something that likes to go and get in deep. But we're getting through it anyways. Just move. It's the name of the game. Just move. M O O V. I know it's M O V E, but M O O V. Move. More positive outcome. All right. Um. As I forgot to fill up that Scout 800, take it from there. Uh, what's this? Little help for my friends. Say hello to my little friends. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's first get to this watchtower. I would like to do that. Fairly quickly. Um, how far is it? Oh, it's right here. I was like, I was going to complain. I can't see it. Still can't see it. What? <laughs> and I have been promoted by this watchtower. Never thought I would say that. Been promoted by a watchtower. I did. And an upgrade location. Yes. Gotcha. On my way back, I will get you. Um. I'm going this way, it looks like. Seems like. No, I'm going this way. Glad I checked, otherwise I was going that way and then I got stuck in something or somewhere and then found out like, oh, this is not the way going to the up upgrade location. Dang it! But and this one is. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. And the upgrade location. Raised. Or Kodiak C70. I think I sold that. <laughs> Because it was useless to me. Or I thought it was useless to me. But that's alright. That's fine. You know. We're, we're going to get through this. My scout likes this kind of terrain. So. Because it's solid. And I like it as well. Because it's solid. And it's dry, that's all good. Get through the rocks without all too much damage. And let's get back to the truck. Without flipping, without flipping, I said. So sad that I need to specify this. But hey, if it works, it works. Need to specify it just to keep it up, then alright, I'll specify it. Just one more time. Because I can. Yeah, this is uh, 
not really the kind of terrain the scout is all too happy about. But we're doing it anyway, so. and I'm keeping it in low plus, because then it will not shift gears when it feels like it, and this way we keep constant speed, otherwise it's going to shift down and then bog me down, and then it stops, and then it will dig itself in. So I prefer just to keep it in one speed, even though it's a low speed, but just keep it at speed, and keep going. Just to continue. Not into a hole. Now that momentum we just lost because of that pole. No, not because of that pole. Because of the suicidal thoughts this, this scout truck has. Would have came in handy. To get back on here. But no, Scout Truck had to be suicidal. Scout Truck says what? What? Signal in the mountains. Broken antenna. Alright, uh, stop the engine. Repair. We're at that point. Roof rack. There we go. And the Transstar as well. And we lost less than 100 points. That's good. Change truck. Uh, pack trucks and trailers. Start engine. And activate ramp. Now I don't know why I'm doing that. Because I was planning on ending the episode here. But hey. Let's continue on to the next one. And end it there. Uh, I prefer to do it on more solid ground, yeah, as well. Uh, no. On the post. Posts are solid, so they're good to pull yourself ahead. Not to bump into. Scout. Um, Hunter Sparking. There's only two more. Two more left. Uh huh. That's good. I like that. Nice. Keep it going. Keep it going. You know, still, for uh, for a highway truck, I still think the Transstar is doing a really good job for, for off-roading. I mean, look at what it's doing with a trailer and then what, what the Fleet Star and presumably white western star weren't able to do actually or i say that but i think that's how it is but no evidence to back it up all right hunter's parking right here um i'm going to we need to go how did i get here actually because this task here is already picked up. Huh. And I remember that trailer right there. Right there. Are we going to the log station that way? Or are we going to the log station that way? I'm going to take this way. I don't know if I prefer it, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, yeah, so I will fast forward it, and then I will see you guys when we're at the log station.
Phew! That's safe, my butt. I was happily trucking. <laughs> A little bit too happy. Uh, yeah, noted. Don't get happy. Don't feel happy. Don't do that. Prefer not to. The game prefers you don't. Welcome to the log station, and this is where I'm going to conclude this episode. And the next episode, we are going to explore this way, open up this one and this one, and then head back towards Smithfield Dam. I'm guessing. Um, to repair, fill up, and do everything that we need to do. Uh, we had a lot of exploration already. Uh, we opened up from here all the way this way. We've been through here. And now we've ended up here. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, I hope you, ha you guys have yourself a fantastic weekend. And a fantastic rest of your day. As well as that I want you guys to stay safe and I want you guys to really enjoy your weekend. Just enjoy it to the fullest. All right, now, before I end it, please hit the like, subscribe, and thumbs up button. Um, if that's the same thing. Don't forget the bell, of course, to turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.